Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf. We are back. It is quite late at night. So we're having a bit of a nighttime episode. Oh, there's just a weed here we're going to get. Um, oh, there's a firefly or something. Let's see if we can grab that really quick. I think it's a bug we can catch. Yay! It's a, a firefly. Now we're glowing with pride. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. So, as you can probably tell, we've got the net out. We're going to do a, some bug hunting today. We're going to head to the tropical island, uh, courtesy of Capin, hopefully. And see what bugs we can catch late at night, because we need to do some money-making exercises, I guess. So, we probably should head straight there. We're just going to drop pretty much everything we don't need. Um, like so. In fact, it doesn't matter anyway, because Capping gives our stuff back. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can go to the island. I've got a few ideas of, of things we can do to improve our chances as well. So we'll explore that while we're there. Uh, what's that? If you want to head to the island, there'll be a thousand bells per round trip. Yes, please. I'm reluctant to spend a thousand bells, but we do. It's kind of an investment, I guess. Gar, oh, good deal. Leave it to me. Say now, me wee crab cruncher. Who do you plan on spending your time with on the island? Uh, no one at the moment. Although I do think at some point we kind of have to organize like a group trip. Uh, so to get visitors and then all go to the island together. I think that would be really cool. Um, don't worry yourself, none. Most of your stuff probably still be here when you get back. Yeah, we're, we're trusting you with our firefly, Captain. If that is your real name. <laughs> okay, let's head to the island. It's looking very cloudy. I guess that's just part of being nighttime. Let's go. Okay, we we made it safely to the island. Oh, oh yes, the mermaid stuff. That's really cool. And we've got some cool shorts. I wonder if they're cheaper than Gracie's shorts. Uh, what do we do? Oh, I was hope we're really hoping there was gonna be a little hi uh, what do you call it? Um, a hibiscus bush for sale, but there isn't. No, we had plans. <laughs> We'll have to try it again another time, but basically I was just going to buy a bunch of hibiscus and just plant loads of them. Uh, but I think what we can do in the meantime is just dig a load of holes. Because basically we want all the bugs to stop spawning on the ground. Um, to force them to spawn on the trees. So let's see if we can get the tools. It's so dark, isn't it? Uh, welcome. I lend out lots of goods. Yes, Lloyd, you're very helpful. Uh, I'll even tell you how to use them. That's okay. We just want to borrow. Very good. Take uh, whatever goods you like to use, my good chum. Okay, so we're gonna maybe we'll grab the wetsuit just in case. We're gonna take this spade and a fishing rod. I don't actually. We might as well take. Actually, let's just take everything and then we can drop what we don't. Uh, we don't need. That way we can just kind of pick it up if we do need it. So, for the moment, we can drop these. But what we're gonna do is basically we want all the. We're going to pick up all the shells. So my plan was basically to plant bushes all over this grassy area so no no bugs could spawn here. And, <laughs> and then get all the shells from like next time we come basically move all the shells over here. And the next time we come get enough shells basically to fill up the shoreline to stop those annoying little crabs spawning. Uh, but I guess we just have to collect the shells first. Um, so it's a bit tedious. I, we should probably catch a bug. Oh no, I left the net over there. The net is what we want. We should probably catch a bug while we see it. We don't want to waste any time. It's always best to come at it from... No, from the front. Otherwise that happens. So we've only got uh, six trees. There we go. We caught our first bug. Uh, I caught a Cyclomata stag. A lot of these we've already got, so we don't uh, we don't need them uh, to donate at least. But we do. We desperately, desperately need to make some money. So, but yeah, I thought that was a really good good idea. So we can pretty much just drop all these shells here. And then when we come back next time. 
There'll be new shells. We can move those over here. And we can slow when we've got enough, we can slowly go all the way back and fill the shoreline to stop things spawning. That way, if we stop the things spawning on the beach and we stop bugs spawning in the center of the island, only bugs should spawn on the trees. That's the theory. Oh, we've got seven trees. We've got an extra tree this side. Oh, we've got we've got eight, uh, four trees this side as well. So we've got eight trees. I do wonder what the most optimal hour of the day is for catching loads of bugs. I'm thinking we could do a bit of fishing as well, depending on how, how many bugs we catch. No! And also maybe, uh, maybe some deep sea diving. See? That annoying crab! Uh, another one. Maybe we sh maybe we could just do this. Oh, I don't think we can get. Uh, oh, we can get a little bit closer to the thing. Okay, so this this is a bit of a temporary solution, um, but it might save us some time. Um, I don't know. Is there extra space there? Yeah, we need to make sure we're as close to the shore as possible. But if we reuse our shells over time, we should be able to block every single, um... That's going to be a problem with that tree there, isn't it? We should be able to block every single spawning location and basically force the game to only spawn the bugs we want. Um, in theory, this is not tested by any means. <laughs> So far, so good. Because definitely nothing can spawn on these holes. It's quite hard to get the right angle there. And we'll get, keep going behind the tree. It's quite deceiving where the... Uh, where the shoreline is. Uh, if you're bored, <laughs> you may want to skip ahead a few minutes. Uh, but this is... Oh no! Maybe my theory is incorrect. No, they're somehow managing to spawn on these tiles here. I thought we were onto a good plan. Oh well, back to the bug catching. No point in wasting our time. Because uh, we basically only want the beetles from the trees. We're being very greedy. <laughs> oh no. So, I mean, the shell thing would work because we can drop the shells very close. We just can't dig holes. So, the shell thing could still work. But we really need, because we can't bring items with us, we really need the hibiscus shoot to be um, available for sale. So, maybe I'll do some setting up before we come next time, um, kind of offline. That way you won't have to watch the boring parts. A Goliath beetle, nice. I just love also how relaxing this island is. It's so pretty. It's uh, a lot nicer than our island at the moment, or our town. Keep scaring bugs. Um, because it's very cloudy on our main island. So. Ooh, a shark. We definitely want to try and catch a shark. They can be worth quite a bit. Uh, but we've got debts ranging like upwards of half a million bells. Ooh, stubborn shark. I don't think this shark wants this food.
After all this effort, we're not going to get it, are we? Oh, just super reactions. Hey, we got a shark. Oh my gosh, I caught a whale shark. It could have swallowed me up. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Okay, so we're gonna have to remember whale shark is a new one. Oh, there's another shark. Who put all these ho holes here? Oh, super quick shark. Quicker than our reactions. <laughs> we did it. We got a horned atlas. It's like a weight has been lifted. These holes are annoying me now. I can't believe... I didn't realise the spawning locations were on the actual water rather than <laughs> one tile in. Oops. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty chilled, relaxing episode. I caught a horned elephant. Nice. That tree at the top there never spawns anything. It's always this front one down here. I don't know if that is a thing with because of how we're walking around the island or... Creeping. Another horned atlas. We'll take pretty much any beetle. And also have to keep our eyes out for sharks. Okay, we're being it's been quite successful. Whoa, I could have golden stag. Better not spend it all in one place. Any more sharks? Okay, we're getting the hang of creeping up as well. Actually helps to have that hole next to the tree because I know where I'm walking up to. Okay, we better check our pockets. We don't want to get to a point where we've got too much. Um, let's see. Okay, we can catch two more. And then we should probably go... Actually, we might as well dump the spade at this point. So we can catch three more. That was a risk. It was risky trying to catch it from the side, but it paid off. Sharks? No! No! I hate scaring away the big beetles. These are the ones we want to stop spawning. The little... I don't know what they are, but they spawn here on this grass. We'll scare the fish away. Hopefully some sharks will spawn. There doesn't seem to be much fish at all. The net does a good job if you're close enough to scare scare the fish away as well. Okay. And now we're going through a phase of where bugs aren't spawning in for some reason. Uh, we've actually picked up, how many shells did we pick up actually? Three, six, nine, twelve shells. I wonder how many we need. Be gone, crab. Yep, see just the crabs are spawning now, which is really annoying. Um, they're not worth anything to catch, so we just scare them away. 
And hope. Bug spawn. Here we go. This is pretty much the only way I think that you can farm bugs. Or at least the quickest way. Uh, Quarter Horn Atlas. It's like a weight has been lifted. Surprised there's not more sharks though. Oops, didn't see that one so it flew away. Scare these fish away. There's just one over there, I think. It's hard to see sometimes. It's, it's quite dark, so the shadows look sometimes like the texture of the water. Ooh, I think that might have been an eel. No. Don't mind me scaring the fish. See? Go away! <laughs> There's gonna be another shell somewhere, isn't there? It's when you get in little, kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like, kind of little runs like this where they just don't spawn on the trees. That's what takes so long, and that's why you kind of need to fill up all the spawns. So if we could fill this entire area with maybe uh, planting like the hibiscus bushes or maybe even burying things maybe shells when we've got enough shells nope more bugs this is not good where are all the oh there we go <gasps> quiet and slowly does it We did it, and we got a horned atlas again. <laughs> but we'll take it. Oops. No, something, there must be a shell over here somewhere because there's one not spawning. Oh, there it is, it was a bug hiding under the shell. And another shell, and another shell. Oh no! I'm getting carried away, getting too angry at the shells, or the crabs. Just pretend that didn't happen. See, I hope you don't mind like a slower episode like this from time. I wasn't even close to that bug. Uh, a slower episode like this from time to time. Sometimes it's nice to just relax, but also we desperately need to make money. So I can't think of another way to make quick money. Uh, I might have to do some stuff off screen or offline, um, just so we can build up some funds. Because we need to buy the Gracie furniture and pay off debts. I actually think it's genius that the developers did this. They made some like super exclusive, really rare, expensive furniture. Just at the point in the game where you're likely paying off masses of well, large debts, basically. A cyclomatous stag. Oh no, I don't have any more room. Swap out. What can we swap for it? Uh, the fishing rod... There we go, you can pick the rod back up in a second. Let's go and put our bugs in our pocket box thing. Next time we come, we'll have to hope that the hibiscus bush is here and we'll get more shells. That's the theory. We can't actually fit too much in this uh, box anyway, so we could probably do like two pockets worth. Okay, so let's go and see. We've got time to catch some more bugs, I think. Where are the bugs? Here we go. 
It's quite late at night, so we need to leave ourselves as well time to go to retail to sell everything. Uh, last time I think we got something like 150 or 200,000 bells, so... Hopefully we do that again. If we did this twice, we'd be able to pay off one of our debts. There we go. Um, if anyone else has any other plans though, please share. Like anything else that we could do to block the spawns or anywhere else we could go to kind of make fast bells. I think we really took for granted getting all the bells off Nook every day. If we didn't have that, we'd be so much further behind. Uh, so if you ever start to play New Leaf, make sure you buy a used copy with a town on it so you can sell the town and get the bells. It gave us a really good head start, to be honest. I can see a second one! I caught a Goliath beetle! Ha, he doesn't look so big. I mean, they're big enough. I mean, how big are, are they in real life? Here we go, we're on a roll of Goliath beetles now. There's one on this the tree behind this one as well. I'm surprised to see two sharks at the start and then no more sharks. That's really weird. So this is definitely a quiet episode, isn't it? Um, not much to say about bug hunting, really. I think it's more about just the enjoying the island and the, the quietness, the music. And the bugs that will make you rich, hopefully. They appear to spawn on the sand as well, but if we, if we at least cover the grass area eventually, it will stop some of them. Oops, too close to that one. No! Silly mistakes. I should have got that one, surely. Okay, let's just grab a couple more and then we'll head back and see how much money we've made. Um, because this is a lot tricky. I really thought my plan for the shoreline was going to work. Um, but the shell one definitely should, so we'll try that again next time. But I feel like we've done okay, actually, considering. Uh, but next time, next episode, we'll definitely do a lot more of our usual daily things, so. I apologize if you don't like the bug hunting. There we go, that's it. We'll call the bug hunting a day. Let's go and uh, put everything in our box and see how much money we can sell them for. I should have checked on a day, really, when there would have been a hibiscus uh, bush. That would have been better. Okay, there we go. Let's head home. Uh, uh, well, look who it be. Good to see you, Maury. Do you want to register for a boat tour or catch a boat back to Moriland? We're, we're going to go home. You want to go home already? Uh, you be sure I'm going back. Thank you. Sorry to see you go, lad. Come back sometime. Okay, we made it safely back. 
Um, but we've got two things to donate to, um... Oh, we can't, we can't put things in here, can we? We've got two things to donate to Blathers anyway, so we don't want to accidentally sell them. Why can't we put things in? That's pretty annoying. Okay, we're going to have to just remember not to sell them. And whatever we do, we can't put them in letters either, can we? No. Okay, let's go see what we can make from kind of one round of bugs. Looks like all of our trees are growing, which is really cool. Oh, there was a fossil there. Okay, retail should still be open. Let's see what's... Uh... A banana. Oh, we could have got extra bananas. Hello, Reese. Please do us a favor. I would like to sell. What can I, uh, what do you want to sell? Everything except the shark and the, um, firefly. So, 100,000 bells is pretty good. If you could, like, I mean, you could spend a couple of hours doing that. Look at our king. Yes. We'll take the king home. Thank you, Cyrus. We've actually got another one for you to do as well. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab the last of the bugs. Um, I mean, that's not too bad. A couple of hundred thousand bells, 150,000 bells for like half an hour's work. Um, it could have been more. Once we've sorted the spawn situation out, we could literally, we should probably be able to go there and, and earn that much in like 15 minutes. Um, so one of these should be, yep, there we go, the other chest piece. Drop those. There we go. So we'll give that to Cyrus. Should probably take out our hat as well. There we go, I'm not sure what hat that is. Small silk hat. Oh, is that the one we got from Gracie? How did that end up? We must have took it off the other end. Okay, let's go. Actually, we should probably take the money as well. I don't trust Cap'n. That's the, that's the real answer. Or the real reason. Um, ooh, we should probably check if we've got a camper as well. Because we don't want to miss out on... No, no camper. I love the I love the the fireflies at night time. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I want to sell. So this should definitely this should take us about two fifty, I think. Eighty-eight. See, that's pretty good. It was like half our pockets. Okay, so maybe one more trip, or one more kind of trip of those. I'll probably do that offline though. Uh, wait, what's this? Is this a a sloppy lamp? No way. Two hundred eighty. We'll take it. Love the sloppy set. I had no idea there was a sloppy lamp. I just thought it looked sloppy because it was all it was all like weird. Hey Cyrus, I've got another project for you. Yo, Maury, what can I do for you, Squirt? I have a project, actually. Oh, a project, you say? I'll be the judge of that. Let me see if you've got anything that stands out to me. Oh, you have something good. Can I take a closer look? Yes, it is a chess piece. A pawn? Yep. So, you bought me a pawn. Oh, great. The piece colour can be redone. No problem. I'll do it for... It doesn't matter what one we actually go for. Because we need like a bunch of each of the each design, so we'll just go for whatever. Uh, my recommendation? Oh, let me think for a mo. What about this? We'll just go for white this time. Uh, yep, white design. All right, Squirt. Um, you all right with me going ahead with the project? Yes, please. That's why we're here. <laughs> uh, well then, I'll need you to hand the item you want to customize. Hand it over. Thank you. There we go. 30 minutes. Perfect. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll do um, a few more off the camera, so ready for next time. 
Um, or if you do enjoy bug hunting, let me know and maybe we can do some more. Um, but we definitely want to put our little experiment in place where we kind of block these spawns. I think that will work really well. Um, but thank you for watching, especially if you got this far. I know it's a bit of a slow episode, but they won't always be like that. I promise we'll get back to normal things um, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you, of course, to channel members. I hope you're still enjoying it. Let me know your favorite things or anything you'd like to see. Uh, we have got text moving out, so we need to prepare someone to move in very soon as well. Um, so there's that to look forward to. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!